Hello uh, from Genoa. We are in very famous church uh, in Genoa where they keep the holy shroud, the holy face of uh, Jesus Christ, the earliest uh, depiction of uh, Jesus Christ that ever exists on earth, the first ever depiction of Jesus Christ. Uh, it was brought here from Constantinople but Genoese, uh, by Genoese merchants in the in the 14th century and uh, towards the the half of the 14th century in 1362 owing to the decadence of the Byzantine Empire which was seriously threatened by the coming of Turks the holy face was removed from Constantinople by Genoese capital captain late Doge Leonardo Montaldo, who received or pretended it as a gift after some military help given to the Emperor John V's Paleologus. In 1384, when it was transferred to Genoa, the Holy Face was given by Montaldo to the Church of St. Bartholomew of the Armenians, close to where the Montaldo family had their houses and properties. Since then, the Holy Face has been kept in this church as an object of great reverence for the Genoese people, and not only for them. An ancient confraternity of the Holy Face, or of the Holy Shroud, has been considering for six centuries its exceptional importance for the city of Genoa and for the whole of Christianity. In 1507, at the time of occupation of Genoa by Louis XII, the King of France, the Holy Face was stolen and taken to France. But a few months later, with the intervention of the ambassadors, of the rich merchants and of the Genoese bankers, among them Gianno Grillo, the very precious relic was brought back to Genoa. Here it remained a spiritual bulwark of the town, above all at the, at the time of Genoese Republic, as it had already been in Edessa and in Constantinople, in Constantinople, an eloquent sign of the religious history of Genoa and of the whole Christian world, which, in this portrait of Jesus Christ, still keeps a sensible trace of the truth and of the reality of the Incarnation. So the story comes um, um, from the Bible, from the New Testament, uh, where is the story of Greeks coming to Jesus Christ, those Greeks, according to some interpretation, might be the messengers of King Abgar V of Edessa. Uh, it's an ancient city in Syria now. It's called Shanli Urfa in the south of Turkey, active center of Christianity. We know about the King Abgar and his messenger to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ from the very ancient tradition, which dates back to the first centuries of the Christian era. And he, this king sent um, his, his messengers to Jesus Christ and a painter to ask to paint down the face of Christ, what he did, or some say it was off print. Jesus touched it with the shroud, his face, and off print came out. Uh, and that's how it looks. Uh, the most ancient depiction of Christ, which used to be in Constantinople. Now it's kept here in uh, Genoa. And anybody who wishes who can come to the church and worship this image. You see, this uh, it is kept here in every language. There are books, the holy face, the Saint Fas, this Heilige Antlitz. Svetlo je lik il santo volto. Il santo volto in preghiera in Italian language here. And there was just a mass here now. Uh, so it's very ancient Christian depiction of uh, uh, Christ. Uh, the first one here you see how it was given uh, by Jesus Christ to the messengers of King Abgar, the Syrian king. And there you see the angels holding this image. Uh, so, if you come to Genoa, 
don't forget to visit the church of St. Bartholomew of the Armenians and uh, pay homage to uh, this, uh, the most ancient depiction of Christ, which is kept here, the great uh, relic of Christianity. And, uh, greetings from Genoa.